Good afternoon. I'm Anu Prakash. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. D'Angelo Martin, the man who's suspected of being the Detroit serial killer, will head to trial on charges of sexual assault. Today, a woman who says Martin kidnapped and tried to rape her took the stand, saying he dragged her into a house on Detroit's east side. She managed to escape. Martin is suspected of killing five other women. Investigators are working to build murder cases against him. Mateen Cleaves is now on trial charged with sexual assault. Opening statements are being given today for the former MSU basketball star. He's charged with unlawful imprisonment, assault, and three counts of criminal sexual conduct. A judge dismissed those charges in 2016, but they were reinstated in 2017 by a circuit court judge. If Cleaves is convicted, he could go to jail for a maximum of 15 years. Well, today you can pay your respects to those who served in the Vietnam War and made the ultimate sacrifice. The Moving Wall, a half-size replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C., is on display. The wall is sitting in Livonia's Ford Field at Farmington Road in Linden. You're able to stop by and see it until Monday. Now let's get a check of the forecast with 7 First Alert Meteorologist Holly Bogle. A cold front sweeping through this afternoon will bring a chance for an isolated shower. Most areas will stay dry with temperatures in the low 80s and humidity falling. Comfortably cool tonight, 60 degrees for a low in the city. Cooler in outlying suburbs, 80 and sunny on Friday. We'll keep that sunshine going on Saturday. A few clouds on Sunday, a bit milder. Temperatures in the low 80s. Thanks, Hallie. Football returns to Ford Field tonight as the Lions open their preseason against the defending Super Bowl champions. The Lions and Patriots have been taking part in joint practices all week, and tonight they'll take the field. But don't expect to see much of either team's starters, though. They'll likely be limited to a series or two. Tonight's game kicks off at 7.30. Those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Head to WXYZ.com and download our app. It's free for news anytime. Have a great day.